me again, obviously. Anyway, so today's video, I think I wanted to talk about bullying. Um, firstly, I want to talk about something that happened to my friend last year. And by my friend, I really mean my friend. I'm not saying my friend to mean me, I mean my friend. Anyway, basically, she was just being harassed by this group of obnoxious girls. And I don't think it was their intent to harass her. I think they were just thought they were being funny, but they weren't. Anywho, what bothered me about the situation was that she went to her social worker and told her about it. And her social worker basically told her, as far as I know, to get over it. And that just made me look at that. My friend didn't actually even seem to care that much, which bothered me a lot, but it just made me really mad. Because in school, they're always doing these programs and stuff about how bullying is wrong and Rachel's challenge and rainbows and unicorns and love and peace and light and all this crap. And that's great, but you need to back it up with some actual action. And that doesn't mean waiting until there's a suicide or a school shooting to do something. Which brings me to my second topic, which is about Tyler Clemente. As you may know, he is a college student who committed suicide recently because a video of him was posted on the internet. It was filmed by his friend of him and another man having sex. And he had not, he was, no one knew he was gay yet. It was his secret that had had no one else had any right to know but his creepy friend friend filmed it and put it on the internet for whatever disgusting sick reason anyway i don't know what was done about this before tyler jumped off the jumped off the george washington bridge i just know it obviously wasn't enough because people don't really care about things until it's newsworthy when it's just a kid being picked on it's not a big deal. When it's a kid being filmed, having intercourse, and having that posted online, it's a bigger deal. But it's not a big enough deal to make him not kill himself. I'm not comparing what happened to my friend to what happened to him. What happened to her was bullying that should have been dealt with by a teacher or something. What happened to him was disgusting and weird and horrible and should have been dealt with by illegal authorities and anyway it just really upsets me that people don't care unless it's a big drama if you're a drama queen who makes a huge deal out of it and gets all their friends involved then you're going to get attention if you're just a regular kid who wants to go to school and not be harassed well, this system basically just says, screw you. All this talk is done about bullying, yet teachers don't seem to care, and no one really does anything about it. And bullying isn't just a big kid stealing a little kid lunch money. Like, has that ever, ever happened? Like, maybe in the 50s, people... I don't know anyone... That, that's just weird, but anyway. Um, yeah. It's not just a big kid picking on a little kid physically, it's words, it's interactions, it's not just a school a yard thing, it's just people being mean to other people and picking on them when they know they can't fight back. It might just be a comment, it might be, so it might be a physical action, it might be a rumor, it might be like a mean prank, whatever it is. It just might, it might just be taken as a joke, and it, but it could also be at the final straw. And schools and people don't really seem to care until it becomes a big drama. And at that point, sometimes things happen that can't be taken back. Anyway, that's really all I have to say on the subject. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment or subscribe if you liked it. And yeah, thank you. Bye.